I'm Mike and I'll guide you through the basic steps of updating a Joomla 2.5 site to Joomla's latest release 3.3.6. After three years of service, 2.5 will pronounce the end of official support at December 31st, 2014. Before we start the tutorial, let's have an overview of some things you need to keep in mind. At first, make sure your brain is active and fully functional, because you will need it a few times. A migration is always a good time to reassess your site, its goals, to clean it up and maybe change some of its functionality. You need to get a plan ready. The following items are to be considered before launching the update. Make sure your server is ready for Joomla 3.3.6. Check the server requirements up front. Where will you perform your update? In the subdirectory on your hosting, on your local host or on a new server? What about third-party extensions? Do you have some on your site? Did you already check whether they are J3 ready? If not, pause this video and check that first. Do you need all of the installed extensions? It's recommended that you use Joomla Core wherever possible. Now have a look at your content, articles, categories. Are they still okay? No need to clean anything? Better to do it before the update than after. And the template. Did you buy it from a third party? Already checked if the same template is available for J3? Did you do some overrides? Or are you going to abandon the template and start fresh all over again? If you had some good reflections about the points previously mentioned, we are ready to update now. In this video, we are using a basic 2.5.27 site. We are going to start the update with making a backup of the site. You have several tools to do so. Have a look in the extension directory to find one that fits you. We, however, are going to do this old school. Use your FTP software to connect to your server download all related files to your desktop. This might take a while, so I'm not showing the complete download process here. When the downloading is done, make sure to check the failed transfer lock. Got everything? Great. Let's continue. Next step is to log into your PHP My Admin and export the Joomla database you're using. After the export, save it in your update folder. That way you can easily find it afterwards. When that's done, we'll upload or copy the backup to our local host, a new server or a subdirectory. You have to decide what's best for you. In the video, we'll use a local host. Place all files you just downloaded in the update folder you just created on your local host. Then go to the PHP My Admin panel of your local host. Create a new database and import the SQL file you've just exported from your live site. We are nearly done. Now we just have to change the configuration.php so it will fit our localhost settings. Open it in an editor. Have a look at the host tree. If it already says localhost, you don't have to touch it. Change the user. The password. And the DB to the correct credentials as set up for your local host. Scroll down and also change the lock path and the TMP path to the correct settings.
make sure to leave the life site empty. Save your file. After it's saved, it's time to test it out. Does your site display well on your local host? Great, let's take the next step. From now on, we'll only work in our local host environment until we stay different. Log into your administrator panel and go to Extensions Manager. Select the Manage tab. We're going to assess each extension by looking at every single extension installed on our site. We will be determining if they need to update to the latest version or be uninstalled. Click the drop down for type and select package from the drop down menu. Why package? Selecting this first is recommended because if there is anything we need to uninstall in a package, it will automatically uninstall the associated modules, plugins or anything else in the package at one time. Uninstall any package that are no longer needed or will not be migrating to Joomla 3. Repeat this process of going through the Manage tab for all types in the dropdown. Component, File, Language, Library, Module, Plugin and Template. In this particular video, you won't see any third-party extensions because we only use the core. One important remark, if you see Joomla projects as author, then don't touch those extensions. For all others, make sure that you uninstall those not in use or not compatible with Joomla 3. A small note concerning your template. We will not be able to uninstall a template that is set as default. We will need to select a core supported template like Bees or Atomic and then uninstall the template if we need to. When we clean that, we have to update all extensions that we're keeping to the latest versions. Check with the developer whether Joomla 2.5 and 3 are using the same version or not. If they both run the same version, they will be fine to one-click update. If not, and Joomla 2.5 and 3 have different packages, you need to look at them case by case. Ready? Let's move to Joomla 3. In the backend, go to System, Global Configuration, Server tab, and turn error reporting from System Default to Maximum. Make sure to save and close. Afterwards, go to Extension, Plugin Manager, and enter Remember into the search box and press Enter. Disable the Remember Me plugin by clicking the green check mark and making it a red circle. If you have a backup extension installed, remember to take backups after each step. Otherwise, do it manually. Now we'll set the update server. Go to Components, Joomla Update. Let's click on the Options button at the right corner. Select short-term support from the drop-down for update server. Click save and close. We will then see our installed Joomla version and underneath it the latest Joomla version and the URL for the update package. From now on have one hand with your fingers crossed and type or move your mouse with the other. Now we can click the install the update button. Watch the spinning wheel go round and round and feel the anxiety building. No, just kidding. The amount of time the wheel spins is dependent on our site, internet connection and server speed. When the right files directly option doesn't work, you might want to try the option with the FTP layer. The new version will have some nice extra features that you might want to discover. You'll get enough time after the update is done. If all goes well, 
we will get a totally new look to the backend administrator panel. When that happens, first click the purge button on your top left. We're almost there. In a new administrator panel, go to extensions, extension manager, databases, and click fix. While we're still in extension manager, go to discover and see if there are any extensions to install. We won't see any because we're using a setup without third party extensions. After that, we go to the plugin manager. Over there, we enable the Remember Me plugin. Now let's have a look at the front end. Click your site name in the top right of your administrator panel. If you see your site, everything is fine and we can continue. If not, you can check out a document about the most common errors during migration. Let's go and enable versioning of your articles. In the backend, go to Content Article Manager, Options. And within Options, choose the Editing Layout tab and set Save History to Yes. Hit Save and Close. If we need another template or want to install a brand new one, we can do this right now. Also extensions or extensions that were first deleted because they were not compatible with Joomla 3 can be installed at this point. Make sure you take backups in between each install. Configure your extensions and template. Test your website. It's working fine? Good. Let's bring our updated website live. We're moving to our current live sites now. First make a backup of your database on your local host. Then start uploading the Joomla 3 files to your root, which you cleaned after your last backup. Make sure to get all files. While the upload is busy, let's create a new database to restore the SQL file in. Given a new database name, a user and a password. If your host only allows you to use one database and you do have a backup of your former 2.5 database, delete all entries. Go to PHP My Admin. Select your new database. And import the database from your local installation. While still waiting for the FTP upload to finish, open the configuration.php file from your local host. Change the needed credentials again so that they will fit your live server. Change the user to the user you just created. Be aware this has to be the database user. Change the password. And change the database name.
scroll down and also change your log path and TMP, TMP path to the correct ones according to your live server. Then make sure you choose save as because we don't want to override our local configuration.php file. Save it on your desktop, for example. Check if your upload is already finished. Yes? Okay. One last file to do. The configuration.php file that we just changed needs uploading as well. Make sure you select the one from your desktop and override the current one on your live server. Done. Let's test our live site now. Is your front end displaying well? Okay, that's the first step. Now go to your administrator panel. Can you log in? Great, congratulations. You've just updated your 2.5 site to the latest Joomla 3 release.